Hi, my name is Jack Jester Weinstein. I'm a senior at Celine High School, and I'm 17. I live in the outskirts of Celine, Michigan, with two horses, four cats, three chickens, and my dog, Sirius. This is my natural hair, so it's really not that hard to maintain. Sleeping through class is a lot easier when I could just fold my hair into a bundle and lay it down on the desk. One thing about having hair this big and poofy is that people are always tempted to put stuff in it. Like in, seventh, in seventh grade, it was sort of a game to see who could throw the most objects into my hair. And Actually, throughout middle school, I collected pencils. At the end of middle school, I had 352 pencils, and I fit them all in my hair at one time. People tend to react quite strongly to my hair. I'm always surprised how much emotion it invokes in people. Usually it's positive. People will, like, call out to me from cars and whatever, like, great hair or whatever. My parents are long since used to it, but my grandmother is, in particular is very much not fond of the hair. Every time I see her, you know, I'll be seeing Grandma for the first time in six months or whatever, and she'll be like, Jack, your hair is looking very poofy today. I really don't know when I'm going to cut it, honestly. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm sort of considering trying a new look for a while, because it has been a long time with the hair, but I think I would really miss the attention and just the fun of being so unusual. <laughs> if Jack came to me. <laughs> I did, in fact, get a perfect score on the ACT, a 36. It was surprising even to me. But, like, aside from being useful for getting into college, I don't consider it that meaningful an achievement. You know, I'd say that people who go out and volunteer and help others are probably achieving more than I did in getting a good number on a test. I had the good fortune to get into my dream college, MIT, a few weeks ago. MIT is sort of, if you're a nerd like myself, fascinated by engineering and science, and it's pretty much the place to be.